Maria, the unexpected crafter, and I am uh, been working on this image from Sasayaki uh, glitter stamps. It's uh, this gorgeous image uh, you can find in their store, and I'll put links down below if you like it. And but today I'm just making this video to show a very quick technique of, uh, as you can see, I already color the umbrella. I color everything. I color the umbrella as a background to the one I'm going to put on top, which is exactly the same thing. I printed only part of the image. I cut the umbrella out. I colored it. And I'm going to do this technique. I think it's called decoupage. I think it's called as a French word. Uh, and I really like it because it gives you like a race at uh, three dimensional view uh, of the card. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's just like I said, I printed two of the image. I cut out the umbrella because it's the only part that I'm going to use. And I am going to flip it over and I'm going to use this, um, this, uh, it's like the foam tape. And I am going to cut only the pieces that I need. If I can find my scissors. There we go. And I'm just going to cut some pieces out. And I'm going to stick them on the back. Let's see. Probably stick one here. Doesn't matter how you cut them, just as long as you cover the, uh, the umbrella in places where it's not going to fold on you. Let's see. Maybe a smaller one here. Oops, that's going to show, isn't it? because one this thing stick they stick pretty well so let's see let's move that like that and I think I may need one tiny one in the corner let's see you can also have uh, the the ones that have already been pre-cut uh, but I just had that handy so that's what I'm using and let's see one, maybe another one in this corner here. They have them in circles, squares, little foam dots. But I just thought I would use what I have handy. Let's see. And let's see. Looks like it's a little it's a tight corner there. Just want to make sure that I have that pretty well covered. Okay, so about that. But like I said, you can already get them in squares, circles. But I just grab whatever I had close by. All right, so I'm just going to remove the tape. Oh, this part that covers it because it's very sticky. And once the taping part is exposed, I may have to have something there, but it should be okay. So here we go. We have here the image, and I'm just gonna place this right over the other umbrella. And of course I darkened the bottom so that I will have like a darker background uh, from the umbrella. So I'm gonna carefully place this over, make sure I have it on the right spot where I want it, because once this is down, it's down. It's hard to remove. So I wanna make sure that I have it right. Okay, I think that's about right. Then I press gently, and there you go. You can see what you have. I don't know if you can tell, but you have the raised umbrella there. Give it a 3D look. And as you can see, I created the little water droplets. Can you see those? I used uh, the glossy accents to do that and um, and that's it that's all I wanted to show you is a very quick technique on how to use uh, this decoupage technique which I will link below uh, that word and what it means and it just basically means uh, I guess something raised I don't know and uh, like I said this image is from Sasayaki glitter stamps I use Copic markers to color the image which is my favorite medium to color and um, I used uh, just a basic car stock for the car base and um, scrapbook paper that I get at the local craft store and that's all I did it's very simple it's a beautiful beautiful image and I will go ahead and uh, post all the links down below um, 
can uh, you can yeah uh, you can go ahead and uh, like my video if you will and I hope that to see you again and uh, that's it for today thank you and bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.